Hello, 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 everyone. This is Kathy, and I'm here with number 73 of the 100 Day Challenge. And today, I'm going to be working with some deli paper. And if you'd like to follow along or do the same activity, here are the things that you will need. You'll need some images. You'll need some deli paper. And I got this from Amazon. It has like a gazillion 500 sheets, which I would never use in a gazillion years. But you can find it at Publix, at Walmart, at Publix is our grocery store. And usually any grocery store has it. And you'll need some copy paper or end cardstock. Some inks if you choose. You need some fabric scraps some ribbon or other scraps of uh scraps of ribbon you need some found objects anything that will make what we're doing interesting and you'll need some glue and some scissors and then possibly some a needle and thread And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did to start out with. First of all, I chose my images and I'm going to take a piece of deli paper and a piece of copy paper and I'm going to adhere this deli paper to the copy paper and I'm using a tape runner to do that. I'm just going to run a strip down the top and a strip down the bottom. And what I want to do is make sure that the top in particular adheres nicely um, because that's going to be fed through my printer and I don't want the paper to get jammed. So I wanna make sure, particularly the edges that might catch are down. Now I'm going to take this to my printer. I'm going to print some images on it and I'll show you kind of what I did these are some images, and normally these images would be the full length of the paper. My printer has the option to print four to a page, which is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take this, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna remove the deli paper. And oh, when I put it in my printer, I put it in face down in my particular printer so it feeds like that. Just going to give it a second to dry. This particular one had a lot of ink in it. And then I carefully remove it from the bottom. And the top. And you might be asking, why don't I just print this on the, on the copy paper? Well, I like the texture of the deli paper. I think it adds some interest. And I think it'll look nice in my... I think I'm going to make a little um, book with it. Just a little folder actually. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this out. Okay. 
This artwork is by Art by Cheryl. She has a series of girl, it's called Girl with Birds. Girl with Bird. <laughs> and I think they are so interesting. Okay. Alrighty. So I have two of those. I'm going to take another piece of paper. I'm sorry, another piece of fabric. And I'm going to be using that. But I don't want it to look boring, so I have some other fabric here that might be interesting. And I also want to look at some paper. So I do love this color. Kind of different seems to go. And I think I will use that. So I'm going to cut it out and I think I'm going to cut this in about four and a half. Let me see how big this is. This is five by five. I'm going to cut this five and a quarter by five and a quarter. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to put this down. I'm gonna use some collage medium for this. Working quickly because collage medium dries right away. I'm going to do the same thing here. do anything with our images I want to add some interest to the background and I think I'm going to do that with some stamping Let's see, I don't know. Okay, that actually was okay.
And I love this stamp from Linda Israel. My thoughts linger here. I think that's so pretty. Perfect. I like that. And let's put this there. Next, okay, I want to color it just a bit. Next, let me see. Got some fabric here. This is some Tim Holtz um, fabric.
And I'm going to use this piece as the hinge between these two. So I'm going to my sewing machine and I will be right back. Okie dokie. I remember to cover that up because I put it upside down. Okay. I'm going to use collage medium again. Well, I like that. That that's uh, you can see the stamp through her face. That's very cool. And here, okay. Now, I'm going to add some things. I want to ink this. And for this, I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. And this is just a skewer that I cut um, bent in half and then kind of shredded it to get this branch look. Let me dry that and I'll be right back. Let's see. Okay.
Okay. Love that. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Oh, that's runny. Runny, honey. I need to use the blue. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I also have this piece, so let me add that. Okay, I like this, and I'm going to try to keep the wrinkles in it.
and I'm going to add some book page. That will nicely show through her. I'm going to, let me see if I can, yes, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Just added a little ruffle there. Whoops. In glue. And over here. So this. I want to be improbable and afraid of nothing as if I had wings like her little bird. Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. Or every day you decide who you want to be. I like that. Okay, I think that about does it. Um, that'll be a nice addition to a journal. I think I'm going to take some, a needle and thread and sew this on. But it's okay for now. Okie doke. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you try one. Try using deli paper. I like it better than tracing paper because it really is more transparent, a little more transparent. Hi, guys. This is Kathy. I just wanted to give you a final flip through um, after I've added some additional background interest. I added some press-on uh, text from Tim Holtz. I added some colored ribbons and over here I stitched, uh, did a cross stitch to stitch this in place. I also added some additional press-ons as I did here. 
and just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.